Greetings from Virginia Western Community College. I'm President Robert H. Sandel. Thank you for joining me for this virtual graduation message. Typically, when we host the college's commencement, I mentioned that this ceremony is the ultimate highlight of my year. It's a time when we come together as a community to celebrate our students' personal achievements. Sadly, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I am alone here today, maintaining a safe social distance. But please know that all of us, faculty, staff, faculty members, family members, and friends are profoundly delighted about what all our students have accomplished. It is my deepest wish that, that all of you stay healthy during this challenging time. To the graduating class of 2020, I wish to invite you back to our next public commencement ceremony. We will honor your achievements in a similar fashion to what we have done for past graduating classes. Virginia Wesson was the first community college in the Commonwealth of Virginia, opening its doors to students in 1966. Over the past 50 plus years, countless people have attended the college and discovered their unique pathways to degrees or certificates to a life-defining skill, to a strong career, to lasting friendships, and yes, even to love. I am inspired that so many people in our community have a place in their hearts for Virginia Western. I vow to, that we will reopen our beautiful campus when it is appropriate and safe. We will continue to help our current and future students achieve their dreams while we serve our community. I wish to thank our local advisory board and educational foundation board for your guidance and leadership during this difficult time. Our educational foundation has been at the forefront of finding new and creative ways to support students financially and with technology to make college possible for so many. I also wish to recognize our amazing faculty, and they are truly amazing, staff and administrators for their flexibility and determination to quickly transition to online and remote education in the face of this pandemic. Your efforts on behalf of our students and our institution have been extraordinary. In an emergency such as this, we realize how much we rely on each other and our families. I know everyone has had their own source of support during this difficult period. And I wish to thank and recognize my family and especially my wife, Jane. I also wish to acknowledge all the healthcare workers and other essential employees who are fighting the virus as they serve our community. We have so many current and former students who are health professionals, or first responders, or who work for businesses such as groceries, pharmacies, and restaurants that are keeping our families healthy and safe. Thank you all for what you are doing. And I repeat, thank you all for what you are doing. The following faculty and staff members have retired in the past year or are soon retiring. I'd like to recognize these individuals' devoted service to Virginia Western. Kathy Faligent, Gracie Wilson, Deborah Thompson, Lee Allen, and Yolanda Williams. It has also been a tradition at our commencement to present our faculty marshals and emeritus honorees who were nominated by their peers for their contributions to Virginia Western. The emeriti are invited to our future in-person ceremony. Faculty marshals, Thelma Simpson, teaching faculty emeritus, Lee Hip, administrative and professional faculty emeritus, Martha Richardson, and classified staff emeritus, Faith Janney. Thank you all for what you have done for our college. You have done so much. Because of the nature of this video, I am unable to recognize all our graduating students by name. I would like, however, to recognize our student marshals who are selected each year among their peers because of their academic achievement. They are Daniel Roche, Emily Collins, Katrin Posick, Hannah Osi and Sheriff Khan.
Additionally, we have 76 students who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average while graduating. This is truly fantastic accomplishment and I'm very proud of all of you. Our college is fortunate to be home to numerous honor societies and clubs. I'd like to recognize these special groups. Kappa Beta Delta, Lambda Nu, Phi Theta Kappa, Psi Beta, Salute National Veterans Honor Society, all our veterans, dual enrollment graduates, and finally, Virginia Western Educational F Foundation Scholarship and Community College Access Program recipients, as well as the inaugural group of Freeland Future Scholars. Although this is an abbreviated version of our ceremony, I would like to share with you a message from one of this year's outstanding students who is graduating. Hello, friends, family, and most importantly, graduates of 2020. I am Caleb Stinchcomb. I am a mechatronics engineering technology graduate. And in my time at Virginia Western, I have served as president of the Armed Forces Student Association, student ambassador to new students, college council student representative, state council for the higher education of Virginia student representative, I am a TRIO student, a Salute Honor Society member, and a fellow in the first class of the Dominion Energy Fellowship Program. And today I had the honor of being one of the student speakers for the class of 2020. Unfortunately for myself and my fellow graduates, we've been asked to put our celebrations on hold due to the current crisis our world faces. And although I'm relieved in the thought and the anxiety of speaking to a large crowd, I'm saddened that we do not get to share in the joy, the cheers, the hugs, and the tears that comes with an in-person graduation. But that does not mean we should be any less proud of the achievement we have made. If you would have asked me right after I graduated high school what I thought about community colleges, I would probably said they were for people who weren't worthy of four-year institutions. I'm here to admit that I was once a small-minded and arrogant young man. It's not because you were any less deserving of a higher education that you attend Virginia Western, but more in fact that you recognize that best serves your needs to achieve that higher education. It's been said somewhere else by someone wiser than me that talent is equally distributed throughout the world, but opportunity is not. And whether you are a recent high school grad, a seasoned at life student, a recently separated military veteran, or a parent or grandparent, you recognize that you were capable of more and sought out on the path to achieve it. And no matter where that path took you or its length in time, you have finally made it. My path first led me to the world's greatest Air Force in 2011, where I had intended to make a career out of it. But after five years of service, it was time for a new direction. And although I'm proud of my service, I was upset and disappointed that I failed to meet the standard I had set for myself with that career. But I also must recognize that all the success I have had post-service is because I first walked down the bomber run at Lackland Air Force Base. Like all those that separate or retire from the military, I had to make a decision of what to do for life after service. The number one answer for veterans is normally education, but what kind of education? I had a friend that I had served with that had separated a year or so before me that moved back home and started his own construction company and offered me a job once I had separated. But he thought that I was too smart to just swing a hammer and thought that I should go to attend school while working for him. The problem was is that he lived in the tropical destination of Des Moines, Iowa. And Virginia does have winners, but I don't think they're equal to uh, Iowa winners. So I thought it was best that I would return home and go to school and get my bachelor's and then reconsider the Iowa offer after graduation. I settled on Virginia Western because it was close to home and then I could transfer to the, a local four-year institution for an engineering degree. The first semester at Western was very strange to me. Roanoke is a fairly new city to me. Uh, I was older than the average student and I uh, 
was, as veterans call or say, it's, I was saltier than uh, the average student. But it wasn't long before I was introduced to the Armed Forces Student Association, the military-affiliated office for students and club at Western, where I, uh, much to my relief, I met other like-minded veterans who also refused to shave, who faced the same challenges I did about life, starting life anew post-service. It was from that office that I regained my confidence and uh, was introduced to all the people that have helped me achieve all the success I have had here at school. Also from that office, it became clear to me that I'm happiest when helping others. And although I'm a mechatronics graduate, I plan on pursuing my bachelor's degree in professional communications at Old Dominion University so I can continue to help veterans with post-service transitions, whether that be federal, state, or nonprofit. As we face an uncertain future, I wish you happiness and success wherever life takes you after Virginia Western. And look forward to a day in which we can all celebrate together. It is important for us to remember that our future has not stopped, but only slowed. And if need be, we should take life day by day. In closing, I uh, offer you some words I try to live by. Be strong, but not rude. Be kind, but not weak. Be humble but not timid, and be proud but not arrogant. I would like to thank my mom for her love and support, my grandparents for their continued love and support, and giving me direction for my moral compass, and Dr. Sandal for all that he does for the college. Now I ask the class of 2020 to go out and do good. Thank you. Good afternoon, faculty, family, friends, and of course the graduating class of 2020. My name is Caitlin Kirkland. I'm a Davenport Fellow and an Early Childhood Education Advocate. I'm honored to be your keynote speaker today. I have some news for you. Are you ready? You were never prepared for this moment. I know. Shocking. Late night cram sessions and all the Red Bull in the world did not prepare you to be part of a global pandemic that your children will read about in their history books. I can see the title now. Honey, we're out of toilet paper. Today, I wanna to talk about being prepared. Seeming it is an appropriate topic, so why has it never been covered before? From the moment my book bag broke in Duncan Hall on the first day of college, I knew this was going to be one heck of a ride. My feeble attempts to be an independent woman shined throughout many years and I was determined to prove myself and others wrong. Note to my freshman self, don't panic, but absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing went according to your plans. No, you did not maintain a 4.0 GPA and yeah, you probably gained freshman 15. You took a couple classes that could have jeopardized your scholarships and you were quick to blame it on climbing four flights of stairs at seven o'clock at night. We all know it was your study habits. It's okay, you passed. We had to start somewhere. I used to work for the same company, your cap and gown regalia, you may or may not be wearing today is distributed from. A lot of things became clear while working there. The biggest being that I didn't want to sell graduation apparel. I wanted to wear it. In 2018, I met the lovely Kim Gregory and she undoubtedly launched my career into early childhood education and has become my mentor through my associates program. Because of Kim's passion for education and kind nature, I am where I am today. From the beginning, I did not see myself continuing after my career studies. Truthfully, I went to college for a pay raise at work. God had different plans for me. Now, I will be enrolling in James Madison University's online program as I work towards my doctorate in administration. It's okay to have doubts. It's okay not to have it all together. It's okay not to have everything planned. Honestly, um, if things get tough, you can't let it de defeat you. 
It is necessary to encounter these experiences. You will learn who you are and what you can rise to. My dad has this saying, God wouldn't bring you to it if he couldn't get you through it. Class of 2020, I'm sure as you reflect on your experiences at Western, as I have, some things didn't happen the way you wanted them to. Plans probably fell through, your degree path may have shifted, and I'm sure there were moments you were out of breath walking up the steps too. All of this was part of a greater design that has shaped you into the person that you were meant to become. Thank you, President Sandal and the faculty of Virginia Western Community College for pouring into us the foundation we need to succeed, even when we face difficult situations. Thank you to my husband, my parents, my nagging sister, and my family for the constant support through this process. Today, I'm a first generation from my family. Tomorrow, I'll be an official alumni of Virginia Western Community College. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I can't wait to celebrate with you all when we are no longer required to be six feet apart. Like President Sandal, I'm so proud of our outstanding 2020 graduates. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Wilmer, Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs. Thank you for joining us for this video as a way to honor our amazing students. I feel so blessed to work with a great team of deans, faculty, and staff who have ensured that our high level of academic integrity is maintained throughout this process of dealing with COVID-19. The following deans will share some details of their programs and their students who are graduating. Avon Campbell, Dean of Business, Technology and Trades. Marty Sullivan, Interim Dean of Health Professions. Amy Angiano, Dean of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, Marilyn Herbert Ashton, Dean of Nursing, and Amy White, Dean of the School of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. I'm Yvonne Campbell, Dean of the School of Business, Technology, and Trades, and on behalf of faculty, staff, and myself, would like to congratulate you for completing your program of study and graduating from Virginia Western Community College in the following programs. Business Administration, Associate of Science. Accounting, Associate of Applied Science. Administrative Management, Technology, Associate of Applied Science. Administrative Management Technology, Medical Administrative Management Specialization, Associate of Applied Science. Culinary Arts, Associate of Applied Science. Culinary Arts Baking Specialization, Associate of Applied Science. Management, Associate of Applied Science. Paralegal Studies, Associate of Applied Science. Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Career Study Certificate. Automotive Analysis and Repair Career Study Certificate, Building Trades Technology Career Study Certificate, Computer Office Support Career Study Certificate, Culinary Arts Intro to Food Service Career Study Certificate, Culinary Arts Advanced Food Service Career Study Certificate, Culinary Arts Baking and Pastry Career Study Certificate, Culinary Arts Professional Catering Career Study Certificate, and Culinary Arts Cake Production and Decorating Career Study Certificate, Electrical Wiring Career Study Certificate, Health Records Coding Career Study Certificate, Horticulture Technology Career Study Certificate, Legal Office Assisting Career Study Certificate, Maintenance Technology Career Study Certificate, Management Entrepreneurship Plus Career Study Certificate, Medical Billing Career Study Certificate, Medical Office Specialist Career Study Certificate, and Welding and Metal Processing Career Study Certificate. Your hard work and persistence to achieve your educational goals, especially during these very challenging times, is commendable. We are so proud of your accomplishments 
and know that the education and the skills that you've gained at your time at Virginia Western Community College will benefit you, your family, and this community for many years to come. Again, congratulations. We wish you the very best. Hello. Welcome to Virginia Western Community College's celebration of graduation for the class of 2020. My name is Martha Sullivan. I'm Interim Dean of Health Professions. Today, we celebrate the victory of all graduates. We recognize the sacrifices that you have made where you were studying instead of taking care of others when you should have been taking care of yourselves. We, rec we recognize the many miles that you traveled in order to attend classes every day. We recognize the assignments that you worked on that you never thought you would complete, especially by the deadline. We recognize your sacrificing of your income temporarily in order to better yourselves permanently. We're proud of your accomplishments and we wanna celebrate you. I would like to recognize the graduates of the School of Health Professions and our many wonderful programs there. Associate of Applied Science degree in Dental Hygiene. Associate of Applied Science degree in Medical Laboratory Technology. Associate of Applied Science degree in Radiation Oncology. Associate of Applied Science degree in Radiography. A certificate in practical nursing. Career study certificate in computed tomography. And a career study certificate in phlebotomy. Congratulations to each of you on your great accomplishments. It is our wish that you take the knowledge and skills that you have learned and you apply it in your practice having a very productive and ethical and lifelong career. Thank you very much. To the graduates in the School of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, your journey begins now. And we want you to know that we expect big things. My name is Amy Anguiano, and I am the Dean of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. I wish you much success on your journey to your chosen career. We know that you will contribute in your own way to the needed changes that will affect our world. To our students graduating with an applied associate degree in criminal justice, you will be our first responders and you will be on the front line. Thank you for your selfless desire to help people in need and thank you for your commitment to keeping our community safe. To our students graduating with an applied associate degree in early childhood education, you have the privilege to inspire our youngest children. We need you now more than ever. Thank you for your impact on our children, our families, and our communities. To our students graduating with, a human, with an Applied Associate degree in Human Services, you will be solving problems on a more personal level. Whether you go right into the workforce or continue your education, please know that we appreciate your dedication to helping people overcome their most personal challenges. To our students who are graduating with an Applied Associate degree in Visual Design, you make ideas happen. Thank you for thinking outside the box and thank you for always thinking big. Your, will, your work will influence the way we see, feel, and think about our world. To our students graduating with an associate degree in general studies, liberal arts, liberal arts fine arts, social sciences, and social sciences with a specialization in education, your journey will be different. You will be continuing your education to become a professional in the communities that you will serve. 
You will be teachers, artists, lawyers, writers, politicians, psychologists. Thank you for your commitment to being part of the solution for the people, families, and the communities that you will work in. To all the graduates in our programs in the School of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, you are talented, creative, smart, but most of all, we know that you are kind. Virginia Western has provided you with the tools that you will need to be successful as you enter the workforce or as you continue your education. You have many talents and you have many skills. Use them wisely, but don't forget where it all began. And remember, we expect big things. Hello, I'm Marilyn Herbert Ashton, the Dean of the AAS Nursing Program and Vice President of Institutional Advancement. And I'm here to congratulate you, um, the class of 2020 nursing graduates. And what a historic time and what an undertaking that you've been through over the past two years. Um, first and foremost, you have incredible faculty who really care about your success and your future. You have an incredible leader, Lauren Hayward, your fearless leader, um, who has helped to navigate you as well as the faculty through the past two years. I just wanted to take a moment to stroll down memory lane as when you first came to Virginia Western, you went through a brand new curriculum called concept-based curriculum. You went through a national accreditation visit um, with ASIN, you were all part of that process. You also went through a site visit with the Virginia Board of Nursing, and that was this past fall. And you also have lived through and practiced clinically in this historic pandemic. And on top of that, you also went to remote learning right after spring break. What an incredible journey. What an incredible class. Uh, when I think of this class, I think of resilience. I think of compassion, empathy. I think of you as part of America's most trusted profession, which you are now a part of, and that's nurses. And as you well know, in this pandemic, nurses have been in the front line. And as you graduate, because you're so resilient, because you've navigated this incredible journey over the past two years, I believe you're going to be even more prepared than ever to take care of patients. Never forget where you came from as a student. Never forget that the faculty support you. Never forget your leader, Lauren Hayward, supports you. Never forget we're here for you. And we really can't wait to hear your stories as you navigate your new profession and your new career. You have a huge canvas in front of you and know that you're going to impact many, many lives. So thank you. So the class of 2020, graduate nurses, the last thing I want to say to all of you is you're getting ready to take your NCLEX exam or your national boards. I have no doubt after these past two years that you've been through that you will pass those boards and you will do so um, with tremendous outcomes. So go out there, be brave, and as Obi-Wan Kenobi says, may the force be with you. Thank you. Greetings graduates. I'm Amy White. I'm the Dean of the School of Science technology, engineering, and mathematics here at Virginia Western, and it is my great pleasure and honor and privilege to greet you today and to congratulate you on your numerous accomplishments and your graduation from Virginia Western Community College. I am so proud of each of you, and I am sorry that I am greeting you in this way rather than uh, in person as we had planned, but as we all know, life has thrown us a curveball this semester that we all must deal with. My own son is graduating from college on May 9th and like yourselves he will be receiving 
his credentials at our on our at home on our front porch. I'm not sure that will be as meaningful as he had hoped, but it doesn't lessen the accomplishments that he nor any of you have achieved. So from the bottom of my heart, I am so proud of each of you and I congratulate you. In the School of STEM, we offer a number of degrees and certificates. We offer associate degrees in science, uh, in science, mathematics, integrated environmental studies, health science, and computer science. We also offer associate degrees in engineering, engineering computer science, and engineering building construction. We offer applied associate degrees in mechatronics, systems, engineering technology, with specializations in design engineering technology and electrical engineering technology. We offer applied associate degrees in information systems technology, with specializations in cybersecurity and in, uh, networking. We also offer a number of career study certificates, some of those being in biotechnology, computer-aided design and drafting. We offer career study certificates in a number of information systems technology fields, and we offer one for dual enrolled students in engineering. And as I was thinking about the list of credentials that we offer and that you have achieved and earned, what came to mind was that each one of these degrees affords you the ability to contribute to solutions to the crisis that we are currently under uh, experiencing with COVID-19. If you think about this, the science and the biotechnologists can get on the front lines and do some of the testing that is going to be so vital in containing this virus. The mechatronics and manufacturing graduates can be prepared to produce some of the personal protective equipment that we so desperately need. The engineers can manufacture, help with the manufacturing of new pharmaceuticals perhaps, and with other protective equipment that can be so vital in fighting this pandemic. And all of the computer science and the information technologists that sit out there among you today and that have earned that credential can help with the massive amounts of data that are being generated and that are necessary to generate to contain this virus. So you are all prepared uh, on this day to contribute to solutions. And if you're prepared today to contribute to solutions for this pandemic and this crisis, that gives me hope for the future that you are also prepared to contribute solutions to problems that we will encounter in the future. So I am deeply proud of each one of you and I hope that you are proud of yourselves. Not only have you learned a deep and immense skill set while you have been with us in the School of STEM, but I hope you also leave with another attribute and that is confidence. Because if you can continue and persevere under the current circumstances that no one predicted when we were coming back to school in January, uh, if you can do this, you can do anything. So I hope that you have not only a fund of knowledge, but a sense of self-confidence that allows you and affirms you and makes you confident that you can go forward uh, under any circumstances. So congratulations on graduation, not only on graduation, but on graduation in the throes of COVID-19. We need to add a little caveat there. I'm a microbiologist by training and one of my personal heroes is a 19th century microbiologist, Louis Pasteur. He practiced microbiology and chemistry and he has a great quote that I often will include in my coursework. And uh, that quote says, chance favors the prepared mind. I hope that each of you will go forward with a prepared mind, always learning, always observing, and always looking for solutions and working to make our world a better place. Because if each of us do that, we all can thrive together. I congratulate you. I welcome you to the world of college graduates and I I, I want you to come back and know that the School of STEM will always support you now and in your future endeavors.
congratulations. Again, thank you to our deans for your outstanding leadership. It is my honor as the Chief Academic Officer of Virginia Western to present the graduating class of 2020. Dr. Sandal, these candidates for graduation have fulfilled or will soon fulfill all of their academic requirements for a degree or certificate. By the authority vested in me by the State Board for Community Colleges, I hereby confer the degree and certificates upon our graduating students. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations again. As we have seen throughout this spring, the world and our nation are rapidly changing as never before. It is critical that we are prepared to evolve and meet the new challenges that we all face. I feel strongly that the education of our students have received at Virginia Western will help them progress personally and professionally and thrive in this ever-changing landscape. It has been my honor to help support you. The college will strive to meet dreams and aspirations of the communities it serves. It is a joy to know that Virginia Western helps to make those dreams come true. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Stay safe and take care of one another. <laughs>